Okay, here's a HP Proco switch, one of the ones on the network. Um, all the lights are solid on. There's a fibre connected in the in the back part here. And this is what all the other switches across our network are currently doing. And then I'm going to go into a room where I'll manage to locate where the fibre's going to. All these fibres go back to a core switch. Here's a culprit switch and this is the fibre that I've singled out. I've pulled that out and so all the lights are still solid on on this. Um, it is set to activity on the actual switch so they should be flickering away if there is any traffic but there isn't. Um, so all these are solid on. Now if we go back to the switch in the other room now that that fibre has been unplugged. see that these are now flickering away and that will be the same across all the other switches across our network they've all been now flickering away so not clogged up anymore the network traffic's gone back to normal everybody can start logging onto the network now what I'm going to do is go back to this original switch With the fibre unplugged, you see all, all the lights are solid on. I'm going to uh, restart the switch. Just get into the power section of it. Hiya. I know I'm working on it at the moment. Yeah. Should be about five minutes and then we back up again. Okay. There we go, typical user saying the cat you know. So Okay, that's interesting. So I have unhooked this switch up here, which is a, a HP Cro Pro Curve a J4887A. All the lights were flickering as normal activity on there, nothing was solid on. That is connected via a direct link, an Ethernet port onto this bottom switch here. So all the lights have come back onto normal as per usual, and the fibre is connected in. Just check that. Okay, let's plug the fibre back in. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that seems to be fine. It's not lights so, right, so solid on, so network traffic is working okay on that. I'm going to hook this switch back up again. Once this is booting up, we'll take a look at the switch it was crashing out. This is still currently booting up. Fan injury protocol is installed in all these switches. And this is the only link from this switch, which is coming from this uh, gig Ethernet port on it here. It's quite an old switch, but we have upgraded the firmware on it. Okay, so that's 
back to normal now. Put it back up. And this switch is back to normal. And I assume that all the other switches across our network, all our other HP switches, are the same as well. Um, so, to remedy the problem, all I did was reboot a HP switch. And I had to do that because it took out every single one of our other HP switches across our network. Um, which I don't think should happen. Now nothing has changed here, no cables have been moved. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning so we have skeleton staff in. There's nobody in, all the doors are locked, there's nobody filling the network connections. Which shouldn't matter anyway because we've got STP installed. Coming back to this switch here, yep, yeah, everything's fine there. So a whole reboot of a switch was the cause of taking our whole HP network out.